You're growing very rapidly, that's cool. But yeah, this difficulty level seems like the good, a good spot for me. It's, it's challenging enough to make the game interesting. Oh, a random tech. We'll just do a random tech. It, even though it says it costs a thousand, it'll just use however much money you have if you don't have a thousand. And you'll still get the free tech, so I'm happy about that. Alright, we can now move through wormholes. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll go check out... Um, well, the amoebas are this way. Let's go check this way, since we know the amoebas are to the south. And we'll send our fleet... up to Ying to keep it protected from pirates. Go colonize Regulus. Um... I kind of want the time to the, the titanium because it's so special. Even though this is a jungle, I think we have to take the titanium. Yeah, we can colonize the jungle soon enough. Uh, but you want food? There. All right. You guys are all busy. Busy. You know what? Get me another scout. Because we might have some more shit to colonize. Uh, if we explore enough. Most likely not, though. The AI races will be pretty far ahead of us as far as tech and exploring, so they should have most of the good stuff colonized by now. But we'll take a look anyway. Okay, we got a free tech. Well, essentially free. We got neural robotics. that's fine. Uh, we need to push that direction, though. I want to get non-baryonic particles very quickly because as a race, we're not very good at science, but this will boost up our science dramatically. This adds 40 science to every system that you build it in. So if we have one, two, three, four, five, if we have six systems, six times four, that's 240 more science. And currently we're only producing 61. So that'll be a four times boost in our science just by building those, those buildings. It's huge. All right, new system and no one has it because no one can get it. Well, I guess we could take the Arctic Transfine. Yeah, we'll definitely go take that system. Let's see what else is out here. Go that way. You know what, you can do a couple of explorers as well. Just a couple. Okay, now let's get our colony ship. Oh, we don't need a colony ship, do we? Yes, we do. So we're going to go for that Arctic. Striker, go up that way. I see pilgrims over here. Okay. Okay, this colony ship is done. Um... Actually, let's send him this way, just so we get there sooner, because we're going to have Arctic soon, right? No, we're going... Why are we doing that first? Do this first. And then do that. And then... Well, like, yeah, we do need the happiness, so... But give me Arctic first, so we can colonize Lyra. Just stake our claim over there. As it were. And then we'll use this colony ship from home to get Ying. Another seer, very good. You can go this way. All right, so we found the pilgrims, desert and lava. Oh, that's a seer. All right. And colonies Arctic. Very good. We met the pilgrims. Very good. Looks like they have pirate problems. It's a weak fleet, though. And they are going to try to kill it, but they don't have the, the ships to do it. Let's go check out this one. Okay, we're building more seers. Very good. 
Alright, you can go explore the um, amoeba. Debron. Alright, what are they using? They're using kinetics. Kinetics. So they got the same weapons we do, that's fine. Well, the same type of weapons. I'm sure theirs are more advanced than ours. Because they have actually researched them and we have not. Uh, you go that way, I guess. Go. Go. There you go. Colony ship should get there next turn. Go, colony ship, go. And I want food. And we're going to have to buy the production building here, because Arctics don't have any production. So we're only getting the base production from the system, which is essentially, you exist, therefore you get two production. So to do that, we're just going to have to buy this. It's 155 dust, or whatever you want to call it. So. Um, yeah, we'll do that just for a few turns so we can afford to buy that damn thing, because we'll, we need it. Uh, you know what, you can actually start working on it. That'll make it a little cheaper. And looks like the pilgrims were coming to colonize it. Nope, it's just a scout. Alright, what do we have in the way? Arctic, desert, desert. I would like to get that. I need more colony ships. Who's this? This is the sowers, you can tell by their ships over here. You met the sowers. Really? Out of... Out of three planets to colonize here, they went for the asteroid belt and the lava instead of the Arctic. Oh, I know why. Because of production. So is low production. Of course they did that. Of course they did that. Of course. Let's go that way. Hey. Hey, you little shitbag. Go that way. Alright. Um, you are going that way. That's fine. You can go this way. Probably more pilgrims out there. Unless the pilgrims are busy... F you know, the pilgrims might be busy fighting pirates. And if they're busy fighting pirates, they may just ignore away. And then we can, might be able to sneak in and get it. We'll have to see. Reproducer. And then do some science. Our approval rating is in the toilet. It's fine. I want another colonized ship. And then you can go back to science. I I'm just going to steal as many systems as possible at the beginning. Because the Horatio... Oh, you'll see it. As our population grows, our influence is just going to explode. Horatio get a bonus to influence based on... Uh, um, their their race just being Horatio, but they also get uh, larger populations in every single system that they colonize, so that that pushes out influence even farther. You can see Aldebaran is almost going to be in our influence from Colonia, and that's only with you know seven out of eight pop in here. Once we colonize these barons, it's going to be even more pop, it's even more influence, etc. In fact, we could build an influence building here, which I think I will do just to piss off the amoeba. Because that might bring them... That I think that will bring that into our influence area. And then we can invade them. <laughs> oh, man. That's awesome. I do need to colonize this place, though. Sooner, preferably, than later. Seer. Yeah, we'll just let you heal up for a little bit. Doing another reproducer. Do I have any other fleets lying around? Nope. Strength of 520 in that fleet. That's not bad for just the beginning weapons that you get in the game. You have a strength of 520 in that fleet without a leader. It's kind of cool. Anyway. Okay, we're still exploring. There's pirates. Damn it. Let's run away. Probably gonna die. Oh, we found the Pilgrim's capital system. Interesting. And they haven't colonized next door. Well, they do have one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. They have seven next doors. So they probably colonized all the other next doors. You can't reach there yet. You just go that way, I guess. Can't reach yet. Oh, they're attacking me. We're gonna lose that ship. Okay, we found Hyperium. Do we have any Hyperium? What are they using here anyway? They have kinetics and kinetics. So pretty beginning stuff. And yes, we do have Hyperium and Colonia. Alright. We're actually going to change the name over here. And 
question. Because that really is ambitious of us to go for stuff in the Pilgrim's home constellation. This is their home constellation. You can see because there's no, you know, warp tunnels or what do you want to call it. So the fact that we're over here stealing systems is pretty boss. Um, they must be low. Yeah, they're actually lower than us in score. So those pirates are probably fucking them up pretty good. What's their fleet strength like? 516. But they do have a max of 7. Um, we do need happiness. Hmm. Do we need it that badly? Well, sort of. I'm kind of thinking we could detour a little bit and uh, just get larger fleets. In fact, I think I will. We're just going to get the larger fleets and we're going to start invading the pilgrims just for the lulls. With our... Actually, no, we could... Uh, could get some better weapons here. And then we'll invade the pilgrims. <laughs> but the larger fleets will be so useful. The pilgrims have a penalty to their ships, so they can't fit as much stuff on them. They have a minus 20% mass limit, or whatever you want to call it, cargo limit on their ships. So that makes them a little bit weak. And I kind of like them. I kind of like them as a first target for us. And since Oceanus can now see Ying, that means we don't need to we don't need to keep a fleet there protected from pirates. And we're going to have Kura within our influence as soon as Oceanus pops, which will be 14 turns. And Aldebaran should also be in our influence. Um, are we still doing Seers? No, we're doing Reproducers. That's fine. You're also doing a Reproducer. That's fine. Uh, when do we get that? Let's go ahead and do this first. And then we can go for fleets and then happiness. We can redesign our ships, build something a little stronger, and then go for uh, the pilgrims. Because they look pretty bad. Okay, we got the new techs. Let's uh, redesign the pincushion. So we're going to go from 112 strength to... We could even get repair on it, but nah. So it went from 112 to 140, and we could actually make it a little bit stronger. There. 153. Fantastic. Pincushion 2. Ready to roll out. Alright, we're going to produce it wherever we have a lot of production, which is Colonia, Tandara, and Home. Okay, just keep on exploring. Here. This place looks difficult to colonize. It is. <laughs> Door to infinity. Okay. Attacking us at Nalan. It's fine. What is in Nalan anyway? Ooh, ocean planet. Nice. Yeah, they're definitely going to take that soon. They probably have a colonizer right here. And they do. Yeah, they're going to get Nalan next turn. It's okay. We'll just go over there and explore. Yep, they just got Nalan. All right, it's fine. Amoeba want peace. Sure. But I don't want to go to war with you anyway. At least not yet. Yeah, you're stronger than we are. And the pilgrims are stronger than us as well. Hmm, interesting. For now, anyway. Still last in uh, military, but we're now sixth in science, so we're moving up a little bit. 
another colony ship. We're just going to go straight for the jugular and try to get way. If we can get way, that'll be the staging point for our military invasion. And we're going to bring our fleet up to way as well. Try to lock it down so that they can't colonize it. And we found Rimor. Nice. Yeah. Decent system. Should have another colony ship finishing here, which we can go finish taking Ying. That'll be nice. Just to kind of complete our home area. Oh, we're getting invaded. Yeah, the pilgrims are here. It's fine. We have a fleet over here. We'll just have to double back. It'll take us a couple turns to get there. It's just one ship, though, so it should be okay. But we have peace with uh, the amoeba, so that's good. Yeah, we'll let that finish anyway. If we had kept Cold War, we could have invaded them from the beginning, but we'll just... we'll wait. Uh, since we have peace, we can go check out their places. Or at least they won't attack us. It's a start. Uh, let's go ahead and buy this. Oh. Nusikan. Oh, okay. Oh, another system that I haven't colonized yet. Interesting. What are they using these days, anyway? Still kinetics. Alright. Oh, Garden of Eden Tundra. They're kind of expanding a little slowly. Those pirates must have really uh, screwed with them. There's our colony ship. We're kind of stuck, so we'll just go dock in the hangar for now. Ambition. Oh. Oh, they're attacking... Oh, they're attacking my colony ship. I'm going to have to run away. It's just kinetic, so we should be fine, but that kind of sucks. That means we're probably not going to get way. We finished our colony ship in home. Let's go colonize Ying. Yeah, we got out. And we went back to Tandara. That's fine. Oceanus has finished its training. Um, might as well. It's another planet. We don't really need anything else from them, so we'll just queue up some science. You're doing some pincushion twos, very good. And we're getting for the larger fleets, that's fine. Okay, larger fleets. They still, man, they really have not colonized much. More paladin. Yeah, it's fine. They have a lot of military, though, but that's just because the AI has huge FIDS bonus on uh, higher difficulties. So they're producing more industry, more science, more dust, and more food than we can. It's just the nature of the game. Okay, next turn we can engage that fleet. So, uh, we're in Tandara, aren't we? Yeah, he's not going to finish, so we'll just swap our leader over here now. Get him some experience when we kill that guy. You're doing that. You're doing that. It's fine. I'm going to bring this down a little bit. Let's go attack this motherfucker. He's just connected. He's probably going to retreat, actually. But we'll do our best just to kill him. Just overclock, overclock, overclock. And uh, maybe we'll kill him? We'll see. 
Yeah, he actually stood in, he actually stood his ground. Good for him. And more veteran. And we can't attack the sowers this turn. We'll have to wait till next turn. We can, however, bring our colony ship up, which we will do. And we'll just dock it in the hangar for now. Okay, we got our happiness building. Um, that'll be good for better tech on our fleet. I mean, better, uh, is that hit points? No, it's experience on our fleet. That'll be good. Mm, anything else I want right now? We could get some cruisers. I think we'll go for uh, the science building. I really want that science building. And then we'll start doing some military stuff after that. But we can do happiness buildings now. So who needs happiness? Uh, you do. Cue that up right after the production building. You also need happiness. We'll cue that up. Uh, yeah, just throw it in there. Get it done. Okay, we have our first pincushion too done in Colonia. So we'll bring it over to Ambition. Run away. We're just going to lose these scouts eventually, but, you know, it's a good place to start. Oh, who's this? We met someone new. The Cravers! Oh, goody. They're actually number one in the Empire, in the, in the galaxy. That's pretty normal for them to be er doing well early on. Doesn't mean they'll stay that way, but... It's a typical start for them to, to do well. What's their fleet like? Ah, it's just a scout. Colonizer has arrived in Ying. Get that planet. Uh, more food. Hold on. Ah, oh, it's much better. Anyway. Uh, food, production, science. And then we'll look at you from there. Okay, you're working on happiness. You just colonized a tundra. Good for you. Uh, we could use the happiness, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead and queue up the food there. Uh, we'll just let it do some science for now. That's fine. attack you now. Nope, next turn. Alright. But yeah, I strength 743. That's not very good, but it's not terrible. Uh, okay, we found the amoeba capital. Let's move on. attack these motherfuckers. Uh, just go all out. They're probably going to run away. It's just a scout. Finished our tech for that, which is good because that'll give us better experienced ships. Just going to put it everywhere where we're building ships. We want that in there. It's really important to get... Oh, we'll let that one finish. Still no level up. Oh well. It's just a scout. There's an actual fleet. Alright, let's go uh, meet him. And we will bring our... Uh, nope. Interesting. Alright. We'll bring our colony ship up there, because we should win that battle, and then we can colonize that place. It'll be fine. Are we okay on money? Sort of. Not really. Well, the amoeba might have a really small area down here. I don't know. Three seventy-three zero. Oh, they're gonna colonize Primus. Good for you. But they still haven't colonized the Garden of Eden Tundra, which blows my fucking mind. I guess that's why they're second to last place. Oh, right. Uh, can we explore? I want to go... Uh, yeah, let's go that way. Oh, I forgot there's pirates over there. Dirt. Yes, I remember seeing them last turn. And yes, I forgot entirely. Alright, 
Alright, let's attack them. Just gonna run away from these pirates. The sowers are attacking our pincushion too. 117 to 24. Well, we should be able to kill him. We have better attack and better defense. But he has more hit points, because he didn't fit that 40% modifier thing. Thingamajig. Open borders with the amiibo. Um, sure. Why not? We'll be friendly with some people for now. What do I want you doing? I could just have you spit out some ships, or I could have you on science or money. We're gonna have to support this fleet with money, somehow. Mm, I think we'll just leave it like that for now. We'll let it grow a bit while it does uh, science. Yeah, we st we're just, we're just, it's so early on. There's so much potential that we have. Oh, we need this place for sure. And rich soil, we want that too, but coral reefs first, because you get the happiness bonus and the dust bonus. Ooh. All right, we're, we're at this one. Uh, let's go ahead and fight this one. Let's do that. see if it works. Yay, we killed him and we have like one hit point left.